All right, the moment you all been waiting for. My co-host, Janora, is about to put herself to a once-in-a-lifetime challenge. But the good thing about it, it's all for a great cause. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my whole life. I can't even believe I'm doing this. But I'm doing it, and I'm doing it to save lives. I have signed up to ride in the AIDS Life Cycle Ride 10. What that is, it is a ride from the city of San Francisco all the way to the city of Los Angeles. That's 525 miles, I think about 60 miles a day over the course of seven days. All of it is to benefit HIV and AIDS, um, paying for treatment, spreading awareness, and during the show a couple months ago, the one where we focused on HIV and AIDS, I realized that we were missing from the fight. Not necessarily black women when you get with a group of black folks, but on a grand scheme of things. For example, this ride, looking at photos, we're missing, but African American women are being affected in disproportionate amounts. I need to be part of the solution. Okay, I'm ready to go. This is the first day of my training. I'm gonna do this for the next couple months as I prepare to make that trek from San Francisco to LA. Crazy, right? No excuses, let's go. So, if you'd like to be part of the solution and like to ride with me, then go to the No More Download website, click on the resources link, and there you will find the link to the official AIDS Lifecycle website where you can click on that and sponsor me. Any and every donation, no matter how small, will help. So, thank you so much. It is appreciated, and I look forward to you joining me on this journey as I train and make that ride to be part, again, of the solution. Between now and June, we'll keep you updated on Janora's training. And of course, we'll have every pedal stroke as she journeys from San Francisco to Los Angeles. So stay tuned for that. You ready, champ? Not yet, but I will be. Oh, I have no doubt she will be ready. That's our show for today. Here's what's up on our next show. On the next No More Down Low. What do I know? <laughs> I know a lot. <laughs> a popular New York hip hop DJ gets arrested for allegedly having sex in a car with a transgender. So why are the heavyweights of hip-hop suddenly silent? It's very naive for a lot of people to think that no gay man is in hip-hop or woman. All that and more on the next edition of our show. And don't forget, if you want to help my girl out here, just click on our resources link and make a pledge. Help her out. That's right. Help us sister out and all for worthy calls. That's the most important part. Actually, we got one more thing I want to talk about. I want to congratulate you on being featured in Advocate Magazine's 40 Under 40. It's quite an accomplishment. Thank you, thank you. I'm really proud and honored and humbled to be recognized. I'm happy to just be standing here next to her. I know. <laughs> well, from sunny Palm Springs, California, reminding you to spread love and not hate, I'm Janora McDuffie. I'm Kendall Hogan. We'll see you next time. 40 Under 40, huh? Wow, you're on fire. <laughs>